Hey guys, so today I am doing something that I've never done before on my channel and that is shopping my stash. I mean, I've done this. I mean, like, let's be real for a moment is putting makeup on after going through my bins, something I've never done. But recently I've decluttered a lot of this room, which I will link the videos up here of my declutters. In those, you see products that you forgot you had because you're going through everything and you're like, I forgot about this. So I'm about to go around my room and I'm gonna choose some products that I haven't played with in a long time that I kind of forgot I had, see if I still like them. And maybe some of them aren't as old, maybe some of them are really old. And we're just gonna go in and try things that have been long since forgotten in my drawers. And I think it'll be fun. So subscribe if you haven't yet. I upload new videos all the time. So you should subscribe because if you don't, it's really rude and also hurtful. And you guys can follow me on Instagram and Twitter if you follow people on those. And let's go choose some makeup. We're gonna start off with foundation. Let's see what we've got here. All right, what do we have? You know, I'm not really feeling anything in that one. Let's try Milani Conceal and Perfect. All right, concealer. Oh my goodness, what do we have here? I think for concealer, I wanna use this. I have not used this in so long. This used to be concealer I used all the time. This is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Powder. What do we have here? I haven't used Laura Mercier in a while. It has been a minute. Let's use Laura Mercier. My bronzer drawers need some help. They need some massive help. We haven't decluttered all of this yet, so. What is something I haven't used in a really long time? I used to love this so much. This is the Balm's Bahama Mama, and I have not used this in literally years. So let's give it a go and see if I still like it. All right, I still need to declutter a ton of these blushes. I also used to love this. I haven't used these in so long. This is the Hot Mama blush from the Balm. Let's try that. Okay, today is like a throwback to the Balm because this used to be my ultimate, ultimate favorite highlighter. And I haven't used it in so long. I wanna see if it lives up to what I remember. Well, I've got some palettes up here to choose from. I've not decluttered my palettes yet. But you know what? I just did an eye look with these. I think I'm gonna recreate the eye look I use this with because I haven't used this palette much, but it's so good. And I did an eye look and you guys requested the crap out of it in one of my last videos. And I used this palette, so I'm gonna do that. No, what makeup I forgot about? This is ColourPop Lippy Sticks. I used one of these the other day and I was astounded at how much I love these. I also use this with this lip pencil right here. So, boom. I think that's everything. All right, let's go. Okay, so we have picked out all the makeup. Before we get into this video, we've got a sponsor, and that is HelloFresh again. So I'm so excited because I have been partnering with HelloFresh for the last few months, and I will be doing so in future months because we are gonna be working together a ton, and I'm so excited about that. If you don't know what HelloFresh is, they are a meal delivery service. The meals get delivered directly to your doorstep. You can choose between a classic plan, a veggie plan, or a family plan. We go with classic because it just suits our lifestyle the best. You can switch between them if you wanna change up your taste so like if one month you want to do the classic then you can switch to the veggie or so on it gets sent to you in an insulated box and in there come the meals all pre-measured out ingredients you've got a recipe card in there that's got six steps super easy to follow every meal takes less than 30 minutes to make start to finish everything is super fresh super delicious and we've loved every meal that we've gotten from there they're super simple recipes as well they're seasonal and they're really delicious and it's all pre-measured out ingredients so you don't have to go and do any like excess shopping everything comes in each individual bag with its recipe card so it's like foolproof we have tried so many new flavors and so many new ingredients that we just never have given even a thought to like this week we tried this recipe that I'm showing you guys which is the creamy dill chicken I have never in my life cooked with dill before and I don't know why fresh herbs are my everything in this world and that is something that we started using after signing up with HelloFresh because it is something that we never thought about before we were always like yeah yeah this dish is really good whatever so many of their meals have fresh herbs in them and unbelievable the difference it makes in a meal to have just that level of freshness in Mm. The dill. The dill. So here's the dill, guys. It's so good. It's a uh, 
very dilly. I added a lot more dill than it said because I really like herbs. So yummy. Zach, it's your turn. Yummy, right? Yeah, I've never had dill chicken. It's yummy. I've never used dill really in cooking. Good. This is my first time using dill in cooking at all. The dill and the Dijon mustard. We eat low carb, so we just substitute out some of the ingredients. So like, say it comes with rice, we just use cauliflower rice. If it comes with potatoes, we use mashed cauliflower. We just try to like make substitutions as we can or just eat it over a huge bed of greens. My sister has since signed up for it and I didn't even know that she did it. She didn't even know that I was working with HelloFresh and then she sent me a picture of like something sitting on her counter and then I saw the little HelloFresh logo and I was like, do you sign up? She's like, we love it. I'm like, we love it. HelloFresh is now from $6.99 per serving and you can get $80 off with eight free meals on your first month of signing up with HelloFresh if you use the code RAWBEAUTY80 at checkout. So thank you so much to HelloFresh for sponsoring this portion of the video and now we're gonna get into trying out this makeup that I am excited to give another chance. It's been a long time. You've been sitting there for a while and I'm sorry that I neglected you, baby. All right, so before I get into the makeup, I am gonna moisturize my face. I've been using this Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream for the last few, mm, couple weeks, I'd say. I'm really liking it. I feel like it really does change the, just the way that the foundation sits on the skin. I feel like it really adds a nice glowy base. So if you have a foundation that's really, really matte, you know what you may wanna do? You may wanna go to Sephora and grab a sample of this. A little bit of it lasts a really long time like the amount I used just now was really just a dab in with my finger so if they gave you one of those little containers for samples I think that it would last you quite a while because it's so I don't know it's so like thick but also so hydrating I feel like it's a nice base for makeup because it does get a little bit tacky so because I used this palette the other day I know how it performs and so I'm gonna do my skin first can you believe it me either. This is the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer. This is the shade O2 Natural. I remember this being really dark on me back in the day, but that was also when I used to wear foundation that was like porcelain, and I don't do that anymore. That's how much I'm putting on the back of my hand. It smells like paint. It smells like paint. Wow, it is so full coverage. I forgot. I'm just putting it on with a foundation brush first so I can kind of dot it on. I could just use my fingers, but I don't know, this brush was sitting in front of me, so might as well. I'm gonna use my favorite foundation brush to apply this. The IT Cosmetics Love is the foundation brush. I used to use Beauty Blender all the time, so I haven't actually used this foundation in the longest time with my new method, which is using brushes for like everything. Hmm. God, this is, this brush doesn't smell good. <laughs> I think I need to wash it coverage on this I remember it being great but I feel like this looks extra great this brush smells so gross it smells like sneeze thumbs up if you know what I mean when I say that coverage wise I feel like is pretty good but I feel like it does look a tad bit I don't know I hate to say cakey a little bit makeupy and I haven't used very much it's about a pump and a half It'll warm up, I think. I think that sometimes I judge foundations a little too much when I first put them on my face because right when you put them on, they haven't like warmed up to your skin yet. And so they need a little bit more time. But you know, actually this looks pretty good. Like see how this still looks kind of dewy? I don't remember it looking that dewy back in the day. So I think that Tatcha base is really helping it. It's about to be that time of the month for me. Okay, sorry TMI. I am craving cake. I can't even tell you how much cake I'm craving right now. And not just any cake, my favorite kind of cake, yellow cake with chocolate frosting. It sounds so good. Tell me, are you guys yellow cake with chocolate frosting lovers? And if you have never had it, I guess my question is, um, what's wrong with you? Oh, this is different packaging. So this isn't my original Bye Bye Under Eye. This is a newer one. I used to love this concealer so much. This is the IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer. If you've never used this, first of all, I like this packaging way better. If you've never used this concealer, oh boy, it is like that much that you just saw me put on my finger, way too much concealer. I don't know if I've ever felt a concealer quite like it. So the way that I like to use it is I warm it up on my fingers like this, and then I tap it into my under eye. It is, Oh dear baby Jesus, the thickest, creamiest, most 
dewy coverage concealer, I swear, that I've ever used. It's really, really nice, I feel like, for like summertime. Like, oh my God, look. See, the coverage is beautiful. I'm gonna zoom in. See how it's like hydrating looking? So beautiful. But it stays very tacky, so like. But the coverage is lovely. I'm gonna try to blend it out a little bit with my foundation brush. I never stray from my ColourPop No Filter. This is like weird for me. Just throwing a little bit of what's on that brush on my eyelid because I don't need like, crazy coverage. Just enough to be prepared for eyeshadow. It's, you see how hydrating that is? I'm gonna like tap my foundation brush over it a bit just to kind of relax that down a bit, but it stays very tacky. So this is one you probably want to set. The only problem I have with it is that because it is so thick, it can sometimes get pretty cakey looking on your under eyes when you set it. I like this type of concealer better when I don't set it. Well, you know, for the sake of today's video, I'm gonna put a little powder down, let's be real. All right, so this used to be like my favorite, favorite powder. And I used to bake with it a lot. I haven't used it in a long time because as you guys may know, if you've been watching my channel, I really, really reduce the amount of powder products that I'm trying on my face. I just, I don't know, I don't think it looks better sometimes. But you know, for the sake of this video, let's go hard. I'm just gonna top out these products and then gently powder. Oh. Ooh, that's actually <laughs> not cakey like I thought it might be. Ooh, ooh, Laura Mercia, you might make your way back in. You know, I've, I've, I've used this product for years and when you don't use it, you kind of forget how good it is. And I feel like that's been me, but man, is it blurring or what? I feel like it's blurring everything. This is why this kind of video is good because you ever have those kind of products that you stop using for one reason or another. When you rediscover them, you're like, why did I ever stop doing that? That's what's happening to me right this moment. Like, I feel like this is just making everything look so airbrushed and perfect. <laughs> All right, so now I'm gonna move on to my brows and for my brows, okay, I don't wanna shop my stash. I'm just gonna use the CoverGirl brow pencil that I've been using because I just really like it and brows aren't that important to me anyway, but I do have a new brow product that I wanna try in this video because this isn't like a full face of first impressions. This is actually a product that I have used once before. That's what I like is that this isn't a first impressions. Like I've used these products before. It's just kind of hard for me to remember what my thoughts on these things were. So last night, okay, this is a total side tangent, but it needs to be said. Last night, I got the wild hair to ask my friends on Marco Polo if they notice the smooth motion settings on their TV. Marie was like, that's what it's called? Okay, so you guys know how like smart TVs now, they have like smooth motion or true motion or true detection or eye motion or whatever. They have like this setting on them that makes everything look like a soap opera. It makes regular TV that has like depth and drama look stupid. It makes me not able to immerse into it. It makes me not able to pay attention to it. It feels like I'm watching some poorly made play. Like, like it doesn't feel like, act, it doesn't feel like a show I'm immersed in it feels like actors acting it looks like it moves weirdly and like the lighting is weird and I've discovered that people in my normal life like friends that I've met from either YouTube or you go to their house and you're watching movies and they have that setting turned on and I cannot watch a show with that setting turned on and a lot of people don't even realize it's happening and that's when I realized you must be a robot because so many people have it on and they they're like just watching Game of Thrones or whatever with this setting on and I'm like, it looks like a bad soap opera. And they're like, what do you mean? And I'm like, you can't see it? And they're like, no. It's a real thing though, I'm not making it up. If you Google it, it's called like the soap opera effect. It like, it's a setting that new TVs have to make everything like ultra HD or like 4K or whatever, but in their attempt to make it look more 4K, they've made it look unreal. It almost looks like CGI or like bad CGI, but it's like real actors. And it's weird because you can turn the settings off in your TV. It changes the show from being like some weird, unrealistic, cartoonish seeming soap opera, dumb drama to like back actual good movies and TV. You guys let me know if you know what I'm talking about. Have you noticed it? 
Do you have it on your TV? And does it drive you nuts when people don't acknowledge how horrifying it looks on TV? Or am I just being dramatic? I could just be being dramatic, but I have a Marco Polo group going with two friends. We all recognize it as bizarre and hard to watch. Let me know if you guys have done that too, because we all agree that it's like so awful. Now this is the Sigma Tint and Tame Brow Gel. And I have used this once and I, I really liked it. This is a brow gel that you can see adds a 3D-ness to the brow. It, it really darkens each individual hair and it separates them out. And I do feel like, I don't know, I feel like I can see a difference in that brow, you know? That's fine. Now, shall I shall I do the face now? I think I'm going to, like, I, I think I just wanna do this out of order. So this is the Bahama Mama from The Balm. And this used to be my favorite. And I wonder if it was my favorite because I didn't have any other makeup or because I actually liked it. But this is a bronzer, but it is very cool toned bronzer. It's not super warm by any means. I wonder if I'm still gonna like this. Yeah, it's pretty cool tone. So I, I used to really love to like contour. And what I discovered along the way is that for some odd reason, contour pulls very pink on me. And I used to really notice this, especially back in the day when I was using the Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette. It literally looked like I was contouring with blush. And so I really started to gravitate more towards bronzers because I felt like they were just more flattering on me because it looked like I was sun-kissed instead of like using blush. But I feel like this, even though it is a cooler tone, is not pulling so much pink as it is sort of like a warm, cool tone, which is a bizarre thing to say because warm and cools are kind of like literally the opposite of each other but I feel like this is quite a nice shade actually. Wow, I feel like that looks really nice. Well, I'll be darned. This is the BH Cosmetics Studio Pro number two brush, by the way, and I also rediscovered this recently. You know, doing this declutter has made me find new makeup so much better. Before I feel like because my room was so messy, I was just using the same foundation every day, the same bronzer, the same contour, the same highlight, everything, because I was just like grabbing what was near me and what was easily accessible. And now every day what I've been doing is I've been finishing the makeup that I grab right here and I go put it back immediately where it belongs. And it's making me try something new every single day. And that's been great. Okay, so far, loving the way that this bronzer looks. I completely forgot how beautiful the color is on this and I feel like it's blending out so nice. The bomb I need to rediscover their products. I did recently declutter a lot of the lip products. Now I'm like almost regretting it. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. So for blush, this is the blush that I used to be obsessed with as well from the balm. This is Hot Mama and this is a very beautiful color. I feel like these are very popular back in the day for a reason. Like there's a reason that you were popular. You know, we love you. I saw this on Twitter the other day and I completely agree. It's that blush used to be an, a complete afterthought in my makeup routine. I did not give a shit about blush. Most days, wouldn't even wear it. Forget about it 90% of the time. Now it's like a staple in my routine. It's like I, I have to have blush or I, my face is unfinished. This blush has a bit of a shimmer to it. Yeah, it does. Kind of reminds me of like a dupe for NARS orgasm. Hate that name. I sound like such a grandmother. I'm like, oh, that is suggestive. <laughs> loving the way that my skin looks, loving the way that my face looks in general. Wow, I'm stunning. And I'm gonna go into the palette. And this is the NYX Swear By It palette. And I feel like of all of the palettes that NYX has ever released, this is probably my number one favorite palette. I think that it is just wonderful. It is so versatile. It has such a huge range of colors in it. And these colors right here in this whole section, you know, are right up my alley. It's just like a lovely palette. And for NYX, I feel like it's one of, if not their best one yet. I love the Ultimate Brights palettes as well. And the Ultimate Neutrals, they're all really good. But this one is just like all in one. So good. So the eye look that I did the other day that you guys requested the literal shit out of was, it was this shade here, this one here, and this one here. So I first dipped into this shade kind of mixed with this one. This is on my Makeup Addiction Expert Blender Brush. And you just literally start kind of stamping this on. Just so that the most of the pigment is right there. And then sort of run it in and then kind of pull it out. 
And then I took just that bottom color and took it right into the crease. Still fluffy brush, just sort of pressing it in to that crease area, just to kind of make sure that it has that nice gradient up into that yellow shade. And then I switched to another brush and took that one shade that we were just using and then stamped it all over my eyelid. All matte eye look, which I love an all matte eye look. Bada bing, bada boom. And then I took this very darkest brown shade right here, placing it in the very outer V, just to add a little more depth right there. And then I just take those same shades and like run them up underneath. And there's not very much fallout from this palette. You may get a little bit fluffy, fluffy brush and really just kind of pull it down underneath that so that it just kind of gradiates and fluffs out the edge. And when I did this look the other day, I used the Makeup Geek Brown Eyeliner Pencil. Retractable, you guys, you know how I love the Full Spectrum Eyeliner Pencil in black, and they re-released these in a retractable version, and that makes my heart so incredibly happy because these are lovely eyeliners. Like, if you're looking for such a creamy formula and they just are so pigmented, I love them. So this is the brown. So I didn't want it to be like super harsh black. And then I took a very small brush, really doesn't matter the kind of brush that you have, anything will do. I took that darkest brown shade and then I just like smudged it along my lower lash line to really deepen it up. You can also kind of stamp that right along the top where your lashes are gonna go. I'm putting lashes on putting lashes on, BRB. Okay, that is the eyes done. How quick was that? How easy was that? How lovely is that palette? These are the Coco Lashes Venus, which you guys know I, I love breathe and die for these lashes, okay. All right, highlighter time, and I'm gonna be using another product from the Balm. I feel like this used to be one of my favorite brands, which is why when I shot my stash today, I really wanted to give these guys another try because you know they just kind of sit in the back of my drawer and I forget, okay? And this is the Mary Luminizer Highlighter. This used to be my everything and I haven't used it in so long, I forgot what it's like. Oh yeah, you are pretty, aren't you? You're a pretty little bitch. Oh. You know what, this was like one of the first highlighters ever, I feel, and it's not disappointing me. You know, sometimes when you can use something and it was a like you remember loving it, but then you've tried so many good things since then that it's sort of like underwhelming. I don't feel like that's what this is being at all. Ooh. I'm very happy with this. This is gonna definitely make me pull new makeup out that I just, not new, it's old makeup out again. They have other shades of this as well. This is Mary Luminizer, but they have Cindy and Betty. So if you have medium or deep skin tones, they do have ones that are suited for that. That's one thing I really like is that the balm, even from the beginning before it was even like the thing to do, was inclusive with their highlighter shades. Last but not least, lips. So I, used to really like these back in the day, but I didn't like give them too much of a try. This is something that kind of sits in my drawer because I always feel like, oh, well, I'm gonna use gloss loose it. These are the ColourPop Lippy Sticks, and this is the shade Dream Date Cream. Wow, 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 what a beautiful shade this is. It is such a lovely nude. And then I paired it with this lip pencil. This is the shade BFF. Perfect nude, perfect nude. If you guys haven't tried these ColourPop liners, they're lovely, very, 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 very creamy and glidey. They don't tug at all and they come in so many different colors. And this is, oh, mm, oh, ah, it smells good. How pretty of a nude that is. Oh my God, again, dream date, gorge. All right, my friends, and that is the full face of makeup after shopping my stash. I wanna do this again. Tell me, did you guys like this style of video? Do you like the idea that I can go through and use things that I haven't tried in a long time? Is there anything that you guys saw today when I was shopping my stash that you want me to try? Let me know, I'm more than happy to do this again. I really enjoy this because it's not a first impression. This is reusing things that I remember. Did I like that? I think I did. Let's try it today, and I really, enjoyed everything so much. Not a single product that I used today that I think was crappy or did I think li under lived my expectations. In fact, I rediscovered my love for IT Cosmetics by my under eye. Like my under eyes look so good. It's so hydrating. It's just like 
lovely. Um, the Milani foundation, I feel like is the only thing I'm a little like 50, 50 on, but even still, would I go out like this? Absolutely. I feel like my skin looks really nice. It looks fresh. If I did a quick layer of setting spray, I feel like it would perform even better. It would just like make it even more skin like the lip products. I love them so much. I definitely want to use more of the lippy sticks. They're so glidey and creamy. And I like the fact that they come in like a full size tube. They're not like minis but that they are like a slim line tube. I don't know, I just really enjoy that so much. Loving the Balm products that I tried again. I wanna try even more from the Balm again because they're a brand that I find myself, I really gravitated towards in the beginning of my YouTube journey. And then as I go on, it's a brand that I've just sort of strayed away from. And I don't know why, sometimes their packaging is a little, um, unassuming to me and I think like for these I'm fine because I've used these so I know what's in them but without knowing what the inside looks like you're not gonna really be able to tell from the outside not that you always need to but for me like a lot of their packaging looks kind of the same and so my eye kind of glosses over it for some reason I think they have really cute packaging but Maybe that's just why. Eyeshadow palette, live, love, think it's amazing. If you haven't tried the NYX, swear by it. I swear by it. I think it's a great palette and I have reached for it twice in the last week. So that's a really good sign that it's a keeper. It's a lovely palette and it's not that expensive. Although NYX's palettes have gone up in price. They're not as low as they used to be. I feel like NYX used to be really considered like an affordable brand and they've really increased, but the makeup industry has changed so much that I'm not surprised. The Laura Mercier, I'm going to keep this down on my desk because I am pleasantly surprised with how my under eyes look. I just feel like they, it blurred. You could literally watch it blurring my skin. I think that's pretty much everything. So let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you like this style of video and I am so happy with how this all turned out. What a fun video for me to do. I really enjoyed not doing all first impressions. Turns out I can do more than one thing. All right, well, I thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you again so much to HelloFresh for sponsoring this video. If you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I upload pretty much every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, unless there's something that happens to happen. You guys can also follow me on Instagram and Twitter if you are so inclined, but if you're not, well, I mean, I understand because like some people don't have Instagram or Twitter. And you know, that's probably the healthy thing to do. So just don't even do it, don't. All right, well, I thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you at my next video. Good night, sweetheart. I love you. Thank you. Okay, honey. Well, I'll see you soon, okay? I love you very much. Love you too. All right. Have a good night. I will. Okay, bye. Bye. Oh God, I love her so much. I cannot help it. Oh. <laughs>if you don't know what hello frish is hello frish hello frish that's really <laughs> that was a terrible joke terrible joke you should good chicken good. though yes one more bite terrible joke good chicken why do i repeat myself you're gonna make me cut all this out so just quit talking oh, yeah. and i'm gonna use my favorite foundation brush to when i first the first time i'm it's the setting that new tvs have to make everything like old. never cut me off again where are you, Sigma? Where are you? I need to use you, you stupid bitch. Aww. I was saying like really nice things, like I love you so much. That's... It was the same to you. Were you. Did you ever do it to text me? No, but I can. You should, I want you to. Okay. Okay, I love you. I love you too, I'll do it right now. Okay, honey. getting her from school tomorrow so don't worry she'll see me but my heart is exploding oh my god I love her so much it could make me sick oh so I'm gonna sing it to you right now Kiki do you love me are you riding so you'll never ever leave from the sun
inside me because I want you and I need you and I'm down for you always. I'm down for you always. <gasps> oh <laughs> my god. A song that rhymes with you because it says Kiki and Kiki rhymes with your name. Kiki Kiki. I love you. Oh my god. <laughs>